This is a coin toss election, unprecedented consequences. On the Eva Pilgrim in Washington, D.C., where Vice President Kamala Harris will be spending election night. Good morning, Eva. Good morning to you, George. This is what it's all about, the fight for the White House. Kamala Harris is waking up in D.C. after what has been an all-out sprint to the finish, wrapping up a string of star-studded rallies yesterday in Pennsylvania, where she was until late, late last night. Her team telling us they feel good, but no one feels like the last few days has sealed anything up. This is a close race, and they are taking nothing for granted. And generally, with campaigning, at the very end, the focus turns to trying to get out the base, but the Harris campaign is still working even today to persuade what they are calling soft Trump voters. They are actively targeting those voters who have been turned off by the former president's recent messaging, her messaging in these final days, unification, joy, and the future. The Harris team telling me they will be watching some key metrics tonight, saying they need to see big numbers for women, suburban voters, college-educated voters. They need the numbers in the big urban centers to meet the 2020 levels of turnout, telling me Atlanta and Detroit are showing encouraging numbers so far for early voting. But they tell me they need people to turn out today to vote. It will all come down to who shows up today. Michael. It sure will there, Eva. Thank you so much for that. Former President Trump will be in Florida as the results come in. Whit Johnson joins us now from Palm Beach. Good morning, Whit. Hey, Michael, good morning to you. After a jam-packed 24 hours racing through some of the battleground states, Donald Trump is back here in the state of Florida, and not far from here later this morning is expected to vote in Palm Beach. Overnight in Grand Rapids, Michigan, Trump delivered his closing message in what is his third and final bid for president, painting a very dark picture about what would happen in this country if he doesn't win, attacking Kamala Harris, calling her low IQ, but suggesting that he's not running against Harris. Instead, he's running against an evil Democrat system, again making claims of cheating without providing evidence in this election. But the Trump campaign insists it's going to be the top two issues, the economy and immigration, that ultimately carry Trump to victory. At the beginning of all of his rallies, Trump asked this signature question, are you better off now than you were four years ago? His thousands of supporters yell no. And that's the message that the Trump campaign is really trying to drive home, that it was Kamala Harris and the Biden administration who broke it and that Trump can fix it. Now, there are some signs of anxiety within the Trump campaign in these final hours, but they are projecting confidence, touting gains that they've made and Republican voter registration in key battleground states and also improved performance and turnout in early voting in those states as well. Robin. All right. Our thanks to you, Whit.